guys. My name is Mary. I'm going to be doing the first half of June reading for you all. June 1st through the 15th reading for Pisces. How are you all today? I am doing great. Hope you are too. This is for your sun, moon, and rising signs. It's not going to resonate with everyone. If it doesn't resonate, you might want to try your other signs. I'm trying not to drop all the cards. I'm sorry. I'm doing the best I can here. For some reason, I'm having a hard time. There we go. It does take me just a minute, you all. Please be patient with me. That one wants to come out. We're going to let it. There we go. All right. Let's see what we got. The Empress. Two of Wands, Three of Swords, Four of Swords, The Devil, and The Fool. Ear Clarifying, The Sun, that's nice, The Moon, and the Knight of Pentacles. <laughs> Angel of Strength. Door to Value. Nice. Forgiveness. Ask your angels. Give me just a minute, okay? All right, you all. I feel like um, some of you guys may be going through a little sadness. Um, it may have already been happening or it may have already been in the past, but it's just now that you're getting through a certain situation. Possibly um, heartbroken somehow, some way. And now you're getting through it the best way that you can. You have acknowledged, you've moved forward, you're moving on, you're um, doing a lot better than possibly you have in the past. And you're going to start seeing things changing for a lot of you all in a good way. It's almost like that maybe there's been some sort of suffering that you guys can't seem to get over, but I think that that is going to be all put behind you and you're ready to take this new leap of faith, this new risk, this new um, journey. Because I can see you all, um, you know, there's always a time for sadness and always a time for sorrow and then there's always a time that we've all got to uh, move forward. And that's sort of how I'm feeling. I'm feeling like you guys have been going through this and it's time for you all to be a reawakening, reawakened, I should say. And time for you guys to start realizing that what you put out there is actually going to start coming back to you. I feel like you're, for some of you, you're feeling things out as far as ideas or um, maybe this is even your thoughts, your uh, a, maybe a job situation, maybe it's your own business idea or thought, maybe it's some sort of a patent that you're putting on something. I feel like you're looking to the future as to 
what should I do, how should I do it, what idea should I go with, which job should I take, that kind of thing. And I think that you guys are going to see things, and I, I believe it's going to be somewhere between uh, the middle of June and the end of June that's really going to change a, uh, the way you're thinking, the way you're seeing things, and your happiness level is really going to come back. You're going to bounce back from whatever that's making you this. I have this devil card here, and this could be what's... Um, on one hand, that it can go in different ways. On one hand, it could be a Capricorn, first of all, um, that you could be dealing with a Capricorn. But on the on the flip side of that, it could be something that's just holding you down or something that makes you feel like you're stuck or you can't move forward with. Something that may be um, a little aggravating that you're going to release and let go of so you can see things in a different way. And I do believe, I have two angel cards here, um, I do believe that you guys may need, um, I feel like you need peace. And with that, you may get peace if you um, consider asking your angels, realizing that you're going to have strength from your angels and realizing that in time that all of this uh, sadness or emotions or whatever it is that's bringing you down is all fading away. And I do think that by the middle of this month you're going to see things on a much happier note, on a much better scale than what you have been dealing with. I feel like that you guys are really getting back into your own skin and feeling like yourself again by by the middle of this month. And with that, it's going to make get you make you a lot happier. You know, sometimes we are we all go through these sad stages or moments or heartbroken or whatever it is and then as you go through it and move forward and then all of a sudden one day you'll wake up and say, oh, I feel like a new person. That's similar to how I'm feeling. Some of you guys may not be seeing things the exact way that they actually are or were. And once you start realizing that there was a little bit of an illusion to some of the things that you were thinking or seeing or assuming, you're going to realize that all of that is going to come to a complete circle and you're going to see things in a different way. That's how I'm feeling with this moon card. Almost like you're seeing things um, that are not really clear or are not really happening or are not really there. And all of a sudden it's going to, it's going to open up and you're going to be able to see your, or you're going to hear, you're going to realize or you're going to know that Things are a little bit different than you thought in a better way, okay? Hold on just a second. I have this Empress and it makes me feel like this is you guys getting back to who you were, taking back charge of, of your happiness, of your life. Some of you guys are going to be getting outside, doing things um, whether it's just taking a walk, whether it's going to the beach, getting some sun, maybe walking through the forest. I just feel like you're wanting to be outside with this. She's like Mother Nature. And you're having this uh, itchy feeling that you just want to, you know, enjoy the, the spring, the summer. It's just, that's how I'm feeling about it. And once you do that, that actually helps you more than anything. And sometimes it's just taking a walk, just going to sitting outside. You know, simple little things will make you feel alive again. And that's similar how I'm feeling. Now I have this door to value and it makes me feel like that this could be something that's coming in um, new beginnings and finance and career for some of you guys. So it could be possibly you guys are looking for jobs. You could possibly be getting a promotion. Um, you could be getting some sort of a financial gain in different ways. Maybe you're get if you get a new job, it's going to be, you're going to be making more than you were making before. I think that, especially with everything that's been going on, some of you guys have this sadness that is going to be going away. You have this urge to be outside. You have this urge to um, almost, in, 
almost like a, an urge. I mean, uh, you're itching to be outside and you're itching to um, feel the sunshine. And that's how I'm feeling with this. And you're ready to move past whatever's been making you sad or heartbroken. And with that, you're going to see things changing in a, in a good way. Now, you have this forgiveness over here. Maybe this forgiveness is someone that's broken your heart or made you sad. Maybe this forgiveness is, is regarding something completely different. A boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, family members, children, parents, whoever it is. Um, you may need to try to forgive someone. And with that, you could be healing from it too. It makes you feel a lot better if you can forgive okay sometimes it's hard but it does make you feel better at the end of the of the day or at the end of the problem let's put it that way are you guys looking for jobs if you are you may be getting them you may be having more opportunities than you realize some of you guys may be um, traveling you may be moving. You may be taking on a whole new adventure. Could be getting some sort of a message coming in. Or you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And then once again, this could be a Capricorn. If you guys are going through this right now, I, find, I feel like it's going to be subsiding and I feel like it's all going to be okay. All right. If you are going through some sort of a sadness and trying to get through it right at this moment, I feel like that by the middle of June, you're going to see things in a different way and it's going to, your, your heart is not going to feel so heavy and you're going to see a lot more um, happiness around you, around your family, around your life in general. And it could possibly be because of new jobs, promotions, um, new opportunities, new situations, new ways of thinking, you guys taking back control and in, in charge of your life of how you feel, of how you work, of how you handle things, of how you speak. And with that, you're going to see changes in a good way. Give me just a minute, okay? I'm going to rearrange. Here's how I'm feeling, you all. that right there. Mm -hmm. You know, hold on, make sure these are straight. I really do believe that some of you guys, and not everyone, but you have a heavy heart. Now, whether somebody has broken your heart or something sad has happened in your in your immediate past or something to that extent, you've got a heavy heart and you're sad about something. I can see you guys getting through this and maybe exercising, praying, yoga, meditating, and trying, trying your hardest to get through it. I can also see you releasing something that may not be good for you or something that has uh, controlled you or some sort of sadness possibly too that you guys are going to release and let go of and move forward on. Now this could be a Capricorn that you're dealing with too. That could be why that's coming in. I feel like though for a lot of you guys there's going to be something that you're you're putting your foot out there you are actually opening up to something you're looking to the future and you're wondering should i go with this should i go with that should i apply for this should i move here should i do that should you know whatever it is for you i feel like that for some reason you've been seeing things with a little bit of an illusion or a little bit of a glaze over it. You're not seeing the whole entire picture. You're not understanding, possibly from the sadness up here. There's something about this moon that makes me feel like you guys are not hearing, seeing, or knowing the whole 
story of, of, of something in particular but I think it's coming out and you're going to know in, in just a minute throughout the beginning of this month you're going to get out of this situation you're going to realize that um, first of all I think maybe some of you guys just need to get outside whether it's just sitting outside going to the beach taking a walk doing something outdoors will help you more than anything maybe it's gardening or something like that too but I can see you guys being extremely um, I was gonna say extremely happy but I can see you guys getting through something that's going to make you feel so much better about your life and about how you're handling things and how you're dealing with things. Some of you all are taking this new journey and you are absolutely feeling good about yourself and about your life and about your situation. You may need to forgive someone. There may be something that, that uh, this forgiveness really wants me to tell you that once you forgive someone, you can move forward a lot easier. And there are two angel cards here that say, ask your angels an angel of strength. You guys are going to be possibly helped by your angels. You do, you may have to ask them to help you get through some sort of a situation so you can move forward. But if you're looking for jobs, if you're looking for financial gain, if you're looking for um, some sort of a promotion, you could possibly be getting some sort of an offer or some sort of a job um, by the middle of June, if you're looking. Okay, I just feel like that even if you've been going through something, I think it's all turning around. You're getting a better grip on, on something and you're going to see a big change by the middle to the end of June. And with this sun card, you need to be outside just for a little bit. And I can see you guys feeling a lot better in general. Your body feels better, your health feels better, um, your attitude feels better when you get outside. And I think that that's what a lot of you guys need, even if it's just to sit outside for a half hour. You all, if you're going through something right now, don't panic over it. It's go you're going to get through it, and it's going to look a lot better, I think, by the middle of June. I really do. All right. This is your um, first half of June reading, June 1st through the 15th reading for Pisces. I hope you guys have enjoyed it, and I hope you guys come back and see me. Take care, you guys. I'll see you soon. Hang in there, and don't let this bother you too much. You're going to get through it, okay? See you soon. Take care. Bye.